Hello everyone, it's Jap here. Welcome. Okay, so in the spirit of continuing on with the videos I've just recently uploaded um, regarding torn edges, um, I showed you one way of doing it in um, part one of part two episodes on how I make my own deckled edge tear rulers. Um, they are in my tips and tricks if you're new to, to the channel. But I show you, uh, if you don't have one of these or can't make one yourself, I show you how best to get that torn effect. Um, so that's in part one of um, the deckled edge ruler tutorial. Um, and then I also show you how I made, made this one. I made about four um, and I demonstrated how I did it. Um, okay, so as I was saying, for those that are new, um, with some of the projects that we are going to be creating, I do have a lot of torn or distressed edged papers. So um, this is just one example of the kind of papers I mean. I haven't inked the other side, but I'm just demonstrating to you um, how, how we're going to achieve this result. Now, um, some people probably have got distress tools um, that they've purchased. Um, I have one, but I've always found it a little bit awkward. So I was talking to my husband the other day, and he come up, came up with a great suggestion. And you won't believe how amazingly easy this is going to be. Would you believe it's the humble, <laughs> the humble cutlery knife um, that most of us would have in our drawers? And over the years, we've we've had all sorts of cutlery that's come and gone. And um, so I went through mine. It does have a bit of a bite to it, but it's not. I mean, you could harm yourself, but it's obviously not as dangerous as a really sharp chef knife. And then I found this one. And then I looked for uh, a plastic one. Now this isn't. This is a very light. It does a light job. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, in fact, what we'll do? Let's just go with this paper. Now, one thing you could do if you did have your tear ruler, you could always tear these pages around and then work on them. But for now, I want to do this uh, just in case. Um, some of you don't have these at home, but just have a proper ruler. So I'm just going to uh, fold this in half because I'm going to be using this in one of my projects. So I'll just demonstrate it with you. Okay. So you're just going to do that. And remember in my tutorial, I was saying to you to wiggle your papers. That's one way of getting a bit of a torn effect. Because sometimes just doing it with a ruler can be just very um, subtle. Okay, so I've just done that. All we're going to do now is we're going to get our humble cutlery knife. And I, I have to say my husband is such a sweetie um, for suggesting it. So it's not my idea, it's his idea. So thank you, my beloved. <laughs> okay, so I've coffee stained this paper. So that helps with the effect. So I'm going to go in with this one. Now you decide the pressure. You decide how extreme or how subtle you want this to be. But it does a pretty good job, doesn't it? So that's that one. And I'll just do it on the side as well so you can have an idea. And it is about playing and testing what and, and the results that you're looking for. So I don't mind mine being a bit torn. So that's this one and I have to say this is my favourite. This one never lets me down. This is fantastic. And I apply pressure if I want it really severe and then back off when I want it lighter. So I'll go around there. Now the, the plastic one is quite subtle because it doesn't have much tooth on it, but you know, it still does the job, but probably not as well as this one. So this is good, but I like this one. So it's just a matter of you going into your kitchen 
and playing around with what you've got at hand because I guess most of us would have something like this in our kitchen drawer but be careful that you don't have one that's ultimately sharp you'll have to be careful all right so that's that and of course in one of my other tutorials in that one that I mentioned you can use your fingernails and your fingertips to sort of kind of ruffle up these edges now I just want to check that I've got a bit of time to show you how I ink it up so once again these are the examples that um, I've done before so we're going to ink this up now the one that I like to use is this one here by um, Ranger it's yeah designer series anyway it's potty, potting soil I love this one and I'll show you why uh, in just a moment so I just get my sponge so get any sponge that you've got and um, and you're basically going to go around your edges and ink them up and the reason why I'm holding it rather than doing it on the, on the table is because I want it to be creased and crumpled as I'm doing it because it's adding to the because this is how we're aging um, our paper we're making it distressed and by uh, just using and I mean sometimes you've got to go right in so you need to go right down um, but I do like to hold it just to get that you know I don't know what, what do you call it that crumpled aged distressed effect okay so now you can go around your edges with your sponge and your applicator but what I prefer to do is get my uh, ink pad and go right around the edges because that gives it that kind of burnt feeling or that aged effect and it really does look the part once you finish and we're going to be doing um, projects with this in mind and that's why I thought if I have it up and ready and it'll be in my tips and techniques now obviously I need to do the other side with my with my sponge but I'll just do that with you um, but for the sake of time and I will check the time uh, two minutes um, so yeah so while I've got you with me I might just grab one of my other sponges and I'm going to really just get right into some of the corners but that's how you get your aged effect on your papers so or that distressed edged look uh, that's what I mean to say and yeah so if you do hold on to your papers it will even crumple it up more which gives it that effect I was a bit too, too zealous there that's why um, that's a bit um, what's the word torn uh, but uh, I just wanted to show you what you can do with the humble cutlery knife and you know I find it hard to actually say it it's a bit of a tongue twister to me <laughs> anyway everyone thank you so much for coming to my show and share I hope this has been of help to you um, thank you so much for your visit I'll see you next time bye